Welcome to A Slice of Therapy. This podcast was created with Anchor. And if you've not heard of Anchor, let me explain. It's free. It's a really easy way to make a podcast. And it helps me because I can just do this every day directly into my phone. Because there's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. So if you fancy making a podcast too, download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. In today's episode, I want to share with you a quote from a famous statistician. Now, when I say famous, I mean famous in his field. He's not getting mobbed every time he goes to the supermarket. (laughs) And in fact, I'm sorry to say that I can't even remember the statistician's name myself, so I I can't even give him credit for this, but for our purposes, it's the quote that we we need. And what this statistician said was that all maps are wrong, all models are wrong, but some are useful. So I'll say that again, all maps are wrong, all models are wrong, but some are useful. And so what he's saying there is when he develops some sort of mathematical model to try and predict something or explain something, or when he's using any kind of map, whether it be a a geographical map or whether it be a mental map, he's kind of acknowledging that he knows it's not accurate. He knows that the map is not the actual territory, that they're different. And so that it's It's fundamentally incorrect. And yet, that map can be really, really useful. That model, as imperfect as it is, can be really, really useful. But he's kind of throwing away the idea of truth. He's even throwing away the idea of accuracy. He's using a different criteria. I know this model couldn't be described as true. I know this model couldn't strictly be described as accurate. But is it useful? And in the same way, our stories are like those maps and models. The stories we have about ourselves and others and the world and the events that are happening in our lives, moment to moment and day to day. These stories that we create, like maps and models to try and navigate our way through, to try and Give some meaning and understanding to just what on earth is going on at any moment. They also are not true. And they also will not be accurate in the strictest sense of the term. But maybe the question to ask, like the statistician with his maps and his models that he was creating, is, is this useful? Is this story that we're using to help us navigate, to help us give meaning to the life that we're living, is it useful? Because we know it's not true. Just like that statistician, we can kind of take that as a fact of the case. It's not going to be true. It's likely not going to be accurate, but is it useful? And it's a good question to ask because a lot of the maps and models that are developed, they're not at all useful. They're neither true nor accurate and they're not even useful. And so these models get thrown in the bin by these scientists because they realise very quickly that they have no use value whatsoever. They know they won't be true or accurate, but they're also they're also not useful either. They're a distortion. They don't help us understand the world in a way that is helpful. And so it's the same with our stories. When we hold our stories up to that same standard, we can acknowledge up front, well, look, story, I know that you're not true. And I know that you're not accurate. Because no stories are, no maps are, no models are. Even an autobiography is neither true nor accurate. Have you ever read an autobiography and there's a detailed blow-by-blow account of a conversation that happened 40 years ago? 
Well, nobody's memory is able to reconstruct that from 40 years ago with that degree of accuracy. And so even these stories of someone's life that they told themselves and they were there is neither true or accurate. But are those stories that give our lives meaning, that help us understand what's going on in our lives, are they useful or are they getting in our way? Because some of our stories will be getting in our way. And once we recognise really explicitly that this story won't be true, this story won't be accurate, just like those models and maps are neither true nor accurate. We can then get quite flexible and loose in terms of how lightly we decide to hold them. Because if none of these maps, models or stories are true or accurate, we don't need to hold on to them if they're not useful. We can bin them, we can replace them. We can decide for ourselves what story would be helpful. What story would actually not get in our way, but get behind us, pushing us towards, helpfully pushing us towards what we want. Whatever that happens to be for you. Because once you decide what kind of story is going to be helpful for you, then you can adopt that one instead of the one that's getting in your way. Because after all, all maps, all models, all stories are wrong. The only thing that matters is, is that story useful? So if you decide to change the story, to change the meaning that you assign to the events of life, to who you are, how you are in the world, if you decide to change that story, you're not trading truth for falsity. You're just trading something that gets in your way to something that becomes a resource and get you to where you want to be. So I've always loved that quote. That all models are wrong but some are useful. Because it speaks as well. Not just to those mathematical models. That the speaker was originally talking about. Not just to the maps that we use to navigate our way through the world. But just like those maps. And those models. The stories that we tell ourselves about ourselves about our lives are also designed not to be true or accurate but are designed to help us give some meaning to our lives so that we can understand what's going on better and to help us navigate these events as well and so if they're not useful we can get rid of them and decide to have a story that gives us a meaning and an understanding and a way to navigate the world, which is actually our ally rather than our saboteur. So if this has been useful to you, please spread it so others can find it useful too. Give it a share. And you can subscribe to this podcast completely free wherever you get them. You can watch them at a sliceoftherapy.com. And you could work with me, I'm Alan Parry. You can work with me one-to-one. You'll find me at liverpoolpsychotherapy.co.uk. So thanks for listening, and I'll be back tomorrow with another one.